hey guys and welcome back to another video so before starting off with this video i know uh, it has been a while since i've uploaded any new video on uh, youtube precisely a uh, year uh, but uh, this video i would not be talking about that so uh, let's move ahead with this video uh, so this video is uh, mainly uh, this video is going to be about a JavaScript concept uh, that is a uh, post message protocol as you are seeing. Uh, so this is the MDN web docs uh, for uh, you know JavaScript and uh, this is the post message protocol. So uh, by definition a pro post message protocol allows you to communicate between window objects. So what does this actually mean? So assume that you have a uh, window that is a parent window and uh, you are trying to communicate with a, a child window which is basically a pop-up right so uh, this allows this protocol basically allows you to you know have a communication back and forth between parent and child and child to parent back and forth right so this is a good documentation I'll just uh, I'll, I'll, share, I'll share this uh, link in the description uh, and it's pre pretty uh, uh, pretty good at mentioning all the aspects of what it does actually so with examples right so uh, today what we'll be covering is that how uh, this act how this is implemented on a react app so uh, I'll just uh, uh, take you through a simple react app which basically implements this post message protocol uh, uh, which is pretty straightforward so I'll just uh, take you through the code itself so as you can see this is my react app and uh, let's navigate to the app.js fine so basically uh, this is a normal route uh, that I have mentioned. So this is the home route with the component home, uh, a path I've created with a component window. And this is just a redirect uh, uh, URL. If, if anything is not there, you can just uh, navigate to slash home or the slash path. So yeah, uh, now let's navigate to, you know, the components folder. Here we have, two components that is home and window let's navigate to home and see what we are actually achieving here so this is a pretty simple uh, function uh, functional uh, functional component uh, in react so we have uh, a state and uh, we have a click handler we have a use effect and we are entering something over here so pretty pretty straightforward nothing you know complex or logical so what uh, I'll do first is that I'll just show you a quick demo of what uh, the code is actually running so let me just uh, have the npm start so as you can see this is the parent window or the parent tab you can call it as so here we have one click button and clear text button so uh, pretty uh, straightforward right and this is uh, a simple h1 or h2 i think i think h3 yes so this is h3 mentioning that there is no you know response from the pop-up or the child window but we'll get uh, there in a second so uh, what a post message protocol or the window global object uh, consisting of this post message protocol allows you to you know communicate uh, between this window and a pop-up and you can do the same from the child as well so uh, let's click on this so as you can see uh, this click uh, this button is uh, having a you know handler which uh, opens up a pop-up and uh, uh, this uh, window is consisting of a label and a input field so let's just enter a name so currently we don't have any response from the child and this is this window is basically our child so let's type uh, welcome so as you can see you know uh, the the communication between this window and the parent is 
uh, getting established right so this is you know possible using the post message protocol you can do the same uh, from parent to the child as well so this is just to you know demonstrate you how a basic communication can be established using the this uh, concept so i can i'll just clear this so now i have just cleared this so there is no response now just close this and uh, refresh maybe and check if it's working properly so over here you can see the address which we have is localhost slash popup right so i've already went through the uh, routes part as over here so this is my route with component window which is popup and this is my home route now uh, as uh, you can see we have established uh, the communication so this is uh, how you can you know do several things uh, uh, around this so let's close this clear the text now it is clear right now let's uh, go through the code uh, one by one so I've already gone through the routes now let's navigate to the home here we have the click handler so which is binded to the button over here which uh, has click so what click exactly does is so these are the window props so you can just pass this these are basically properties attached to that specific pop-up window that we just opened so you know it can be you know menu bar if 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 the window needs a menu or what should be the width or height of that uh, window etc so you can just pass this as a string and uh, uh, pass it on over here as a parameter so this const pop-up that is window open will basically navigate to this specific address so localhost our uh, localhost is, is running on uh, 3000 and uh, slash pop-up so uh, pop-up window is nothing but just a title and uh, this is the post message uh, protocol so this is the message and this is just the target origin you can also mention over here uh, this as a star so basically it will not look for any local host 3000 it will it would send data to any uh, host that you have mentioned over here but i'll just stick to local host 3000 because uh, for security reasons i'll just uh, get back to that in a minute and uh, over here we have a just a normal handler which uh, uh, clears the state and empties the uh, this response basically just clear this this one and uh, this is the use effect pretty pretty straightforward if if it's catch capturing any event so uh, now let's navigate to you know uh, the window so this is the window component what uh, is actually going on over here right so we have attached a an on change handler to this input uh, uh, field and it basically captures the event we are basically we are what whatever we are typing in that field it captures sends uh, sends it to the parent using the post message protocol to this specific host right so we have mentioned our target origin where exactly uh, this uh, input message that we are typing should go right so it is uh, clear right but assume uh, imagine that we are not providing any host just cancel this or, or maybe we can just uh, change the host name and try uh, the same uh, let's uh, let's now just navigate to you know refresh this and click this window i welcome so now you can see uh, we the communication is not getting established now let's inspect this window and you know check the console also so as you can see the post message the target origin is not uh, invalid or the origin or the target origin that we have mentioned is not clear right now let's just bring this back to 3000 close this 
and click this welcome I think it should work so it's working right so this is the main reason that uh, that is why we, uh, we are uh, providing a target origin or to the parent and the child both itself it it, it also has some security aspects to it we can also you know provide just a star let's just remove this and uh, add a star let's check if it's working or not refresh click welcome it's working right because it if a star is basically a wildcard in this case so it won't you know look for any uh, host it would just send it to any host uh, uh, available right so yeah but uh, you know for security reasons it can be you know uh, it, it is not favorable to use this but uh, we usually recommend using uh, this host in both the parts of this that is the parent and the child window for establishing a secure connection so uh, this is basically you know uh, sending data using post message um, value is basically the uh, data being typed in the input field and you know uh, using this it's uh, sending the data now how the data is being captured from child to you know the parent over here in use effect we have written a handler res child response what it exactly does is that it will capture the event data so event is basically you know the event we are getting from the uh, child window to the parent so the data would be whatever we have typed within the input field and setting it into a state and attaching this child response to a window add event listener with message and you know this is uh, so what exactly this will do is it will read any uh, activity from child uh, and log it into the parent so that's the basic purpose of this specific uh, code and it will this will basically clean up uh, after you know uh, the activity is completed so over here we are getting the data we are setting it into a state and uh, logging it over here the, this is a child message which we are getting so after setting the child message we can log it over here so over here we just have a condition you know uh, if we have the child response then only you can you know print the print this string and if not, uh, just don't uh, print anything, right? So uh, this was, I think, pretty uh, straightforward in case of you know executing. Uh, this would be the same case for if you are you trying to do this with vanilla JavaScript, but I've you know just demoed it into a React app. So this is how you can you know have a communication established it can be anything it can be an api call uh, coming from uh, the child to parent or parent to child it can be anything but the main uh, aspect of this is to you know establish a secure connection between the char uh, the parent and the child by g providing the host uh, basically so uh, uh, this is it i think uh, these are the two main components that you can refer and the, the code for this will be available in description go ahead and uh, experiment few things out and let me know if you have any questions or concerns in the description uh, sorry in the comment section so yeah uh, i think this was it for this video guys uh, uh, I'll be covering more uh, interesting, interesting topics related to JavaScript React in the future videos. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in to this first video of 2023.